CBS's number one new show, The Equalizer, is back for an action-packed second season. Today I'm joined by an amazing actor and more incredible person. You'll see him as Detective Marcus Dante when season two of The Equalizer premieres. That's on CBS Sunday. Tori Kittles, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, Tori. You kidding me? Thank you so much for having me. How excited are you to be back for season two, taking on a new storyline with the same great cast? I can't tell you how excited we are to be back. Action! Uh, to get the response that we've gotten after the first season from the fans and everybody that's tuning into the show on Sunday nights, it's incredible. Um, so we're glad to be back and glad to be back in the city of New York doing it. And Tori, tell me a little bit more about your character. How has he evolved? What do you love about him this season? What is he struggling with? I play a character named Detective Marcus Dante. All I did was ask some questions. Yeah, the kind of questions that get you killed. When we first meet him, in season one, he's on the lookout for this vigilante who seems to be popping up everywhere and solving these cases. Detective Dante is a very straight-laced guy. He doesn't color outside the lines. He is a by-the-book, you know, numbers sort of guy. And then he finds out that this vigilante is a woman named Robin McCall. People like them, they had a reason why I'm doing this in the first place. They think they're untouchable. And he gets to know her a little bit, and she challenges him a little bit. And by the end of the season, they're actually helping each other with cases. When we get to season two, he's not totally on her side yet. He's still at a bit of a crossroads, but something happens to him, a tragic uh, incident, and he needs her help because she's the only person that can help him solve this crime. And, uh, and so he reaches out to her right when she's thinking about giving it up for good. Well, and Tori, as you started getting into, we see them kind of start to team up just a little bit, Robin McCall, and then, of course, your character, Detective Marcus Dante. And we see that also in the trailer for season two with Queen Latifah's character, Robin McCall. So what can we expect to see from you two in this season and that unique alliance as it kind of evolves? I think you can expect to see a lot of sparks flying. I think um, we're ratcheting up the tension on the relationship, the chemistry between McCall and Dante. Um, everything gets bigger and better. The action, it, it increases. Um, there's so much excitement that's going on this season. Like, I can't wait for you to see it. And then on a more personal note, while we're still seemingly trying to get a handle on COVID right now, what has it been like shooting this upcoming season? Are there any safety precautions in place on set? Yeah, you know, we've been following protocols. It really, I think it's our crew has been incredible uh, when it comes to following the protocols. They're the ones who have to keep the mask on at all times. You know, the actors, we get to take them off um, when we're doing scenes. So the crew has really been leading that and everybody's doing everything that we can to, to stay safe. And Tori, is there anything else that I haven't asked you that you want to share with us ahead of the premiere Sunday? Well, I think, um, I think you know, there's been a lot of inquisition on what's going to happen between McCall and Dante throughout the course of this season. And without giving up any spoilers, I can say that the tension will be explored and there is the possibility that something may ignite. The possibility, looking forward to it, Tori. Thank you again for taking some time to speak with me today. It was great getting to learn all about the upcoming season of The Equalizer. Thank you so much for having me. Season two premieres this Sunday, October 10th at eight Eastern, seven Central on CBS. And if you can't tune in, make sure you have the Paramount Plus app downloaded to stream episode one starting Sunday night. I'm Katie Johnston for CBS Local News.